Just a little update here on my situation in Vitebsk. Today is July the 8th of 2017, as you know. I have requested my passports, uh, American passport and Slovenian European Union passports already on Tuesday, which was the 4th, July the 4th. And those passports would supposedly arrive from Minsk within two days, definitely would be here by Friday, you know, because it's 288 kilometers or so from Vitebsk and it takes, I guess it takes them two days to get them here, but they did not even arrive within three days. Okay. They did not arrive even on Friday and was told on Friday to come back basically to get them on Monday and I will do so Simult simultaneously to those uh, requests my requests for passports Belarus government kept uh, Iranian family uh, terrorists uh, I should say Mossad subcontractors here well updated with my situation and they were pretty damn sure that I will receive those passports uh, by Friday and have bashed to me that uh, you know that uh, and yeah how the Belarus government magically somehow have overturned their plea to stay here down and they were told they have to leave by the 7th july the 7th so you see they matched they match again the dates with uh, with my arrival with my passport's arrival is this have, they have assumed that i'm gonna leave the very same day to russia um, or to slovenia uh, whichever direction with their own departure so their own departure and you can see how the Belarus government gave them you know alibi you know okay we, we're just gonna uh, all right you gotta leave by the seven okay we write down on the paper you gotta leave by the seven okay now as you as I stated I'm leaving uh, sometimes on Monday after Monday, all of a sudden you're going to hear individual in a little bit, this Mossad subcontractor terrorist, he will explain that, uh, well, uh, he got an extension, uh, another six day extension. Okay, so, uh, you know, magically, As much as the strict Belarus laws are in respect to immigration, if you don't register your residence here within, report your residence here within, I don't know how many days, three, four, five days or so, uh, you have the, they throw you out of the country, but these people just, just like Ludwig did, I mean, they just avoid, you know, all kinds of, uh, rules, laws here, and uh, things are just somehow magically working uh, for them. Uh, yeah, Ludwig also left uh, this place, uh, the roommate Ludwig, another Mossad subcontract, uh, left this place, let's see here, uh, about a week ago or so. But he left his clothing here, nobody knows where he went. Uh, allegedly he went to supposedly he he, uh, he left to Minsk he already supposed to leave before and so on but really uh, what really is happening the, the Belarus law here is totally uh, it's like a banana republic law it, 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 it totally serves the purpose of Mossad let's just put it that way it's like uh, not the Belarus really is writing that law, but it's Mossad alone that is writing the, writing the rules and regulations, uh, you know, of the Belarus law. It's how exactly it looks like. And so 
he just got here this individual this iranian subcontractor subcontractor from Mossad just got here to me and tried to obtain for me you know some kind of verbal uh, recognition something you know started to cry to me you know how uh, you know just wanted to obtain for me something that uh, you know that he is you know is just a is just an innocent man you know he's just an innocent man and you know he's just trying to inform me about some kind of lady i don't even know who what lady what this and that uh, basically just trying to obtain uh, audio recording maybe i don't know maybe more maybe video from me as he hold the phone in his hands and i know he was recording stuff and he tried this already the other day as well when he informed me that uh, they're gonna have to leave on the seven and so on uh, some kind of recognition you know that uh, you know that he is just a individual that is in a bad situation that he is you know that we should feel sorry for and so on and uh, i gave him exactly the opposite uh, you know just like the other day you know he keeps coming to me with this garbage uh, the other day i told him uh, yeah, i told him we both know that you're not here you know for uh, you know what you claim to be you know due to a persecution but you're here for totally other reasons and this time i told him that i had enough i just told him just you know with that funny phone in his hands and stuff you know basically to just just go away out of my room i mean he literally came inside of my room you know go let's go in your room i want to tell you this and that you know just just go yeah ludwig uh, still got his stuff here his clothing jacket right there all the stuff here in the so i don't know he just disappeared his story is funny is he around here is he in minsk <laughs> i don't know where he is but uh, funny enough uh, it looks like all the residents are going to leave at the same time as i will leave Good morning. How are you? Can I speak with you? Of course you can speak with me. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, you give up my problem, I just but in your problem and another people. Give me answer uh, second suit again negative. So uh, what we Yeah. Yesterday yeah. maximum. Yeah. Speak speak. Uh, all people yeah. cannot help. Yeah. And yeah. I may be angry but relax. Yesterday I speak with high top manager with uh -huh. top manager Elena. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. it was not my problem because my interview very very problem for translation uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. it's very uh -huh. problem yeah but uh, my 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 remember yeah. because very late I uh, I understand very yeah. late yeah. so yeah. and please yeah ah, and tell me who no problem you must go no I don't have money. Yeah. So, uh, what is this? Uh -huh. uh, so, it's a, uh, and potato. Police. police. Yes, but, um, they arrest you? Are, uh, when did they arrest you? Police. Yesterday they arrest you? Yeah. Yesterday, today. I but they will arrest you. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I said, why tomorrow? Yeah. I'm ready to teach us. Like yeah, yeah. I have not money. Right, right. I have not yeah, money. I'm yeah, ready. Yeah. My 
family ready. Uh -huh. Please speak. Uh -huh. What to, uh, tomorrow? Uh -huh. And again, I speak. I have one option. Uh -huh. So your option, I need a 14 day uh, time yeah. because my director in job uh -huh. have uh, sent request. I need a reza. Uh -huh. An answer for central working in Vitex uh -huh. tell uh, there was the Deva Yula uh -huh. 22 Yul answer you maximum. Uh -huh. um, let another woman. Wait, wait. Let's sit. Again, Lena, uh -huh. I'm very angry. But I what what happens now? I don't understand. Let's Again, call me. Because I got to work, you know, that's what. Uh, yeah. Reservate, uh, I can give yeah. you six day time. Uh huh. Issue. Sure. So there will be another six day time. time. But uh -huh. you must, you must uh -huh. leave this apartment here. Uh huh. Yes, there's a many, many, very, 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 many, very call to find apartment. Apartment. Uh -huh. Or fuel or problem for my, my register. Uh-huh. Register near to uh, problem. Uh -huh. uh, bye bye. Yeah. If you need to bye bye. Uh, and no very uh, have a number, all numbers. Yeah, yeah. Near uh, fourteen number. Uh -huh. I write. Uh -huh. My phone yes. But this has problem I call to journalist in the paper and uh -huh. tell video I have a yeah. problem uh, don't listen my speech this department. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't listen. Yeah. Uh, what you think is better. Well, that is thinking about today is what day is today. Today is today. Today is today. Today is today. today, is today. today you told me that by seven that you have to be out of here, no? Mm -hmm. So you have time, they told you ahead. Mm -hmm. Go, no? I think you were a terrorist, sir. You were here before. Mm -hmm. You were a terrorist. Mm -hmm. You were here with me before. Mm -hmm. You know? Now, what you're going to do here, I don't know. How they give you, again, another six days of what you're doing with the Belarus government, how they get you here with the United Nations and so on. That's your business. That's basically what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Understand? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm sure you understand. I'm sure you understand. If you didn't understand my movies that I had made, when I had mentioned who you are, uh, then you have a real serious problem with the English. Yeah. So they're going to keep us here for another six days. Okay, you should be already out of the country. Mm -hmm. You should be already out of the country, but they're going to keep you here for another six days. Mm -hmm. They're going to violate Belarus law, like they did before already. Like I said, you were a terrorist, you were here before. And uh, I can't for the you know, uh, I uh, did explain it, so you know I have to work with you. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye bye, come on. Mm -hmm. Go. I do not know. I, I don't know what your uh, what your background. You, I, look, I don't know what your background. Is. I don't know what. Why? Why? Uh, I don't know. Oh, listen, listen. I don't know. I don't know what what your motives are to get into a crime against the white people. I do not know. Okay. You obviously have a problem with the white people. You obviously have certain issues. Okay. 
So what your problems are with the white people, you know better than I do. Why you do things the way you do, I do not know. I, the only thing I did, I just told you uh, who and what you are. Uh, again, I do not, you know, what they are doing, again, clearly is violation of the law. Um, pretty much, that's the way it is. You know, so I don't know, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, these scenarios they come up with, okay, since well, we're going to leave all together, I guess, that with all the residents here, of course, that nobody knows for me. Nobody, nobody here is because of me, but we're going to leave all together. We came all together and now we're going to leave all together. This family was actually here much earlier. I think about two months before I came to Budapest, they were already here. They knew it. They... It's a UN well coordinated. Uh, you know, this is such a big, big, big operation. And so, because we're going to leave all together, and according to MK Ultra, you know, obviously, that if we're going to get to this stage, there were many other stages, many other scenarios. There were scenarios which they have used to suggest me that. If I hear some shooting, you know, that I should just throw myself on the floor and play as if I am dead and they will, you know, pick me up and get me a new life in some place, no identity, obviously, and voila. Obviously, if you did pay attention to this stuff, they have exercised psychologically so many scenarios to to make me wish to disappear, okay? Uh, to make me change my mind about absolutely everything. Abduct me. Just somehow get me off the stage, political stage, some way, somehow. Anyway, anyhow, uh, we'll get you to the village. We'll get you to the village, to the unknown villages where we have other people like you too. And you will get to pick the food and the clothing from the catalogs. And we'll deliver that to you and you will live brand new life in nature and so on. You know, I kind of believe this shit that they are so fucking crazy. Uh, I do believe they are so insane because, you know, the idea is to, you know, to get the parents. And my parents are maniacs. These are not, these are lunatics. These are fritzels. These are not really parents. You know, believe, you know, that this would be the best thing for me, you know, and that way obtain from somebody that is related to individual like myself, basically a permission approval on his, on my, therefore, behalf how this should be done this way. 
So, you know, they come up with so many scenarios here and even across the border that, you know, it would be just the best thing for me to simply disappear. Um, that I should, you know, where I should travel, you know, that there is, if I go north from Vitebsk, there is a truck stop. Very dangerous for you. Don't go there. Huh? Uh, you go down south. Uh, they have had, they really have had, this was a Mossad operation all along. American Israeli operation is what it was, with approval, with local government involvements and so on, and involvements of the government from Slovenia, and involvement of the government of other governments as well, of the British and German and so on. That if I'm going to travel, uh, you know, where you should travel, Lubavitchi, that's another location down south that, that used to be Jewish, you will disappear, you know, we will get you, you know, we will stalk you, wherever you will go. And it is true, you have a backpack, you don't have a car, the only transportation you have basically is tram, maybe you can afford yourself even taxi, cab, I cannot. But that's is about as fast as you can get to some place, and for sure they know where you are. Okay, uh, and then you have little gadgets like cellular phones and who knows where else GPS devices are attached. You really cannot get any place without their knowledge. That's a fact, and so they have recommended me highly to go, uh, you know, to the Russia. Uh, if I'm going to go to the Russia through the forest, and that forest is straight from Vitebsk to Russia, if you go, the one that I have described on my blog, and that goes again through the, again, through the village, through the Jewish village. And if you have seen the route that they have pushed me to go through, it was a route of you know, Jewish ghettos, if you like, uh, where mass murders of Jews have taken place. And I'm, I'm not even going to it because this is beyond sick, but this is basically what these zeo fascists uh, wanted me and other people to see. They're just sick people like that. That's this here that uh, I'm basically referring to. Uh, this is the route that was designed. That's how it all started. Went here. Tried to go to Moscow, but I ended here. Tried to go to Belarus, but I was stopped here. Went to back to Warsaw and try to immigrate to Ukraine and then end up for the night here. Managed to arrive to Lviv and left Ukraine to, U to Kiev for Minsk and then Vitebsk and finally they have anticipated for me to go through Lyosna to Russia. And they have had some idiotic, crazy scenarios that I would be faced with when passing through the forest to Russia. In this very location. So this basically is what I'm referring to. It's not that I would be afraid of any scenarios. Uh, it's that other stuff that I'm afraid of, you know, meeting who I don't actually even want to see on the other side of the border. I should say, want to have anything to do with. I'm pretty sure you know exactly what I mean and whom. Uh, and so... 
scenarios they come up with were plentiful, many. On my way back to Slovenia, if I would go back to Slovenia, I should just take the plane and basically continuously, constantly creating urgency, panic uh, in an individual, you know, pushing an individual through very serious threats. Because that's basically what the situation was since Budapest. You have clouds of Mossad agents basically escorting you. People previously involved in abductions going basically along with you and, you know, creating situations which they were suggested previously under the MK Ultra uh, that, you know, they will just take you, you know, take you anytime, anytime, anytime. And so that I should just take the plane and go straight to Slovenia and uh, because the population will change so drastically at this time of the year in Europe. And it does. It does. For the European Union, for the Belarus, for the Russia, Israelis do not need any special visa, anything. They don't need any tourist visa like I need, for instance, to get to Belarus or to Russia. I had to go through the forest or I had to go through, I don't know what is it exactly that I have to do uh, to get through. You might have just heard the lunatic that smashes the floor that computer have just shaken and that's basically I was told under the MK Ultra when you know I would be talking something unpleasant inappropriate because they're gonna hear exactly what I do uh, that they would be they will be doing this kind of a stuff and this was a really strong one almost like a earthquake here it's a lunacy here you know, this is the type of environment I'm in. And so I almost don't even know where I was. But anyhow, I'm glad I got this one. Yeah, uh, they don't need any any visas, any, anything special to go through our countries. But we have to climb literally through the forests. And they want us basically to acknowledge, you know, uh, the genocide against them while performing one against us. It does make sense. Totally makes sense. Basically here to terrorize, kill, kidnap our people and be seen as a victims. This, I guess, this is the new agenda of our politicians. And so I was suggested to just take plane and go straight to Ljubljana, Slovenia. But, you know, I'm not going to really do this. I'm just going to take either bus or train or whatever it is, whatever is more convenient, and use that as a form of transportation back uh, to Slovenia, whatever is cheaper for me. Let's just put it that way. Uh, you know, I came here with clouds of this, terrorists and you know how the hell is it gonna change I mean in Slovenia in home in Slovenia my parents have hosted this terrorists okay so where the hell am I gonna who the hell am I gonna avoid in the direction that I'm going in Moscow Donald J Kushner Trump have already announced, you know, is going to come for visitation. And he did the same. He made another reservation uh, for Slovenia because Melania Trump, guess what, is from the same town as you know as I am. And so whichever way I go, this lunatics, this, this lunacy train goes right after me. Uh, I can really not avoid one. Uh, so I really don't care about bus or train or whatever. Uh, you know, that's, that sense of panic, you know, urgency, that kind of stuff. 
uh, I just don't really uh, I just don't really feel uh, want to be really important it is as important as you are uh, you know as, as they allow this shit to go on you know if I had money obviously I would not use bus and train I obviously would take plane uh, but uh, you know you can go listen you can go on the plane and uh, you know land in Tel Aviv instead of Ljubljana or whatever so you know there are many combinations many ways that things can be done in my next documentary one moment I gotta open you this you gotta hear this individual is I understand he's talking about something about the uh, I think that he's talking again about me and so on um, they all claim they don't read my blogs and stuff they don't know anything about uh, but the hell he was just talking about me right now how you know about the stuff that I talk and this and that right and so on something about Putin how much I like uh, Belarus but then you know what he tried to interpret to the interpret the world what reality is and so on and stuff like that I think this is what he was talking about or whatever uh, I ain't got no time for that stuff but it gets heavy because he could have his conversation done quietly you know in privately whatever but he prefers to just choose you know settings so I can hear him and they do all other stuff parallel to that um, anyhow uh, in other documentary why you should see one <laughs> why you should see one you should see one because it's gonna be a breakdown of the Belarus gonna go politically in Belarus I'm gonna talk about so-called uh, they call him anti-Semite Lukashenko by the mainstream media he is referred to the world as the last uh, communist dictator in Europe he is neither of the two he is nor he is anti-Semite he is rather Zio-fascist than uh, anti-Semite and he does not have anything in common with communism really um, it should be interesting uh, for you to see and this is the best way to see really what's happening you know because you as a foreigner you come into you know element in the new system and you pretty much get an idea about really what system basically flirts with, whom the system flirts with okay you know about me why i came here whom against whom i have claimed persecution against uh and you know exactly what took place and i'm going to talk to you more about what the settings were here how they have you know created the social settings how they have attempted to brainwash me that how the desire of fascism is the way to go that america is great and european union and united nations and stuff like that uh, this is the stuff i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be talking about talking to you about the economy uh, i'm going to talk about 
uh, Vitebsk region. It's not the state, it's just a region. Governance, governor, uh, Lukashenko and a lot of other stuff. Extremely, extremely pro-Western stuff. Uh, that is gonna that is gonna make your eyes roll. The stuff that I'm gonna talk to you about, definitely interesting stuff for Belarus people. Belarus, if I translate to you, means White Russia. Therefore, also for Russian people, White Russian people and Russian people, it's almost the same thing. Related also to Ukrainian situation. Any one of you interested in learning about uh, geopolitical situation of this part of the world, the, the real fact about one, facts about one. And for, for those of you that are interested in coming to Belarus, you know, to, or for that matter, for any other part of the Europe, if you're willing to settle, you know, if you attempt to leave US for Europe or some you know, European country or someplace, I'm going to give you some tips on uh, what to, what not to do and stuff like that. How to do things to get uh, the best results. Uh, how you should see yourself in, in the new environment, in new, in, new, uh, in new place. What new place basically expects from you and so on. So you could become successful immigrant. Um, this is the stuff I'm going to be talking to you about. It should be released sometimes tomorrow. It's time to pay back uh, to Mr. Lukashenko for his uh, anal examination. Let's say I love both of them. I love Belarus and I love Russia. I love both of them. This thing will go with me wherever I will go. Every place I will go, it will go with me. I love Belarus and I love Russia. One is Orthodox and another one is Roman Catholic. Will go with me forever, every place I go. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm not going to go in Moscow this time. It's just, it's going to be next time, okay? Paka. Some other time we're going to do that. So No!